Maybe Professor Errol Flynn can give you some private coaching, huh? Yeah, well, maybe he can. Jennifer Thomas is the second co-ed to disappear under mysterious circumstances in the last two weeks. And the kicker is the girls are Kappa Omega Psi, my sorority. Well, that's right. You were a big sorority honcho, weren't you, Tiff? Yeah. Tiffany, welcome home. Miss Kay. I missed you. I thought about you a lot. Well, thank you. I'm still here as house mother. The girls consider you a kind of legend around here. You're kidding. And we try to encourage the tradition. You were some kind of president, and you're some kind of lady. You want to know the truth? I barely got into this sorority. Oh, no. They almost blackballed you. I don't believe it. Do you know of anything that might link Beth and Jenny together? They both had a crush on our famous Dr. Fairgate. Oh, a crush, eh? <laughs> OK, would everybody keep quiet? Stay right where you are. There's nothing to be afraid of. Going, Steve. We'll make him respect the pie news a little bit more. Pie news. I know it has to be them. Wasn't that your brother Steve driving that car? Kappa House turned me down because of that stunt you pulled last night. The drugs are working perfectly. Here's to beautiful women, especially the young ones. Zachary Preston, class of 51. Call me Zach. I'm Wilhelmina Campbell, but you can call me Willie. I'm working on a book right now, a Western. Seems that while the professor was teaching at Berkeley a couple of years ago, two beautiful co-eds mysteriously disappeared. This isn't the Colorado section, Zach. Zach? Phenomenology des Geistes. Very interesting flavor for a Western, wouldn't you say? A Teutonic Western? Mm-hmm. <sighs> How unique. Mm. You know, there's nothing unusual about a college girl getting a crush on a professor. It happens a lot. It happened to me. Yeah. Did your professor return your affection? Of course not. Professor Farragate isn't so chivalrous. Oh. I checked out both Ginny and Beth very carefully. Neither family is particularly wealthy. So, that rules out kidnapping. Looks that way. Uh, excuse me, yes. Professor Fairgate? Mm. Hi, I'm Chris Monroe. I've heard a Hello. lot about your class. I was hoping I could audit. I don't allow audits in my class. Mm. But I would certainly make an exception in your case. Now, this feud has been going on for a long time, and I think it's time to stop it. We have challenged them to a volleyball game. Oh. They're weak in the back court. Get in their back court. Okay. Right, yes. Aren't you a little bit old to be playing sorority girl? You certainly have a winning personality, don't you? Well, I happen to like older women. Do you really? Yes, I do. Ah. Ah. I like men, not boys. Let her go. But the professor said to grab her. We will. How about you and I, uh, one day after work, uh, going out for a drink? Uh, Carrington's Pub is a swinging place. Right on. Hmm. <sighs> well, kissy, kissy. I never heard anybody call Miss Campbell Willie in my life. It's pretty quick for a tight end, huh? I've seen quicker. The word is, Steve, that your temper could get in the way of your ability. And nobody is going to invest in a fruitcake. You wrote this? Yes, in my lean and hungry days. 
Now I paid a great deal to simply spread my accumulative wisdom all over the place. Tiffany Wells isn't who she said she was. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to startle you. Then I... don't sneak up on people. Are you going to flip me again? Not if you take your hands off me, oh. I'm not. Okay. Uh, Tiffany, I came by to apologize for the other day. See, the Pro Scouts are thinking twice about signing me. My kid's sister's still angry at me. I decided I'd clean my act up a little bit. So anyways, I hope there's no hard feelings. Want to be friends? It's okay. Friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm afraid they've got Tiffany. Oh, no. There can't be much time. Fairgate's going to Oxford tonight, then Geneva. The same pattern he followed after those two girls were taken off the campus at Berkeley. All right, you stay with him. We'll be right behind you. Okay. Oh, my God. Miss Kay, I can't believe you were involved in this. Well, Tiffany, you're a very bright girl. I think you can figure it out. Fairgate? He's a very captivating man. Well, I guess it all boils down to what you think of yourself, doesn't it? I guess it does. Get back down on the floor. Get down on the floor. Come on, you don't need the gun, baby. You want to take a chance? Get over in the corner with the rest of them. Go on. OK, Tiger. Drop the gun. Nice and easy. Sheik would have had a little more than he bargained for. Well, I never was one for long ocean voyages. I'm all right. You sure? No. But I will be. Well, I'm just glad to be home. Me too. I don't know. I think Tiffany would have looked great behind a harem veil. What do you mean by that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>